Welcome back art friends. Today we're going to do a series of food. Um, and for all these pictures, they're going to start the same way. So we're going to have some watermelon, some avocados, some kiwis. We might throw a couple of other things in there, but all the backgrounds are the same. So you can have them match when you hang them up. I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use purple, blue, and white. Now you can change your colors based on maybe what room you're putting it in or which food you're deciding to add to it, but make sure you have those three colors. We're also gonna need a rag because we are going to be using a technique where we are gonna put the paint on the canvas with a rag, not a brush. So let's see how we're gonna do this. First things first, with my rag, I'm gonna take some spots of white paint and I'm gonna put them in the top, the right, and the bottom right. So kind of goes on like, you know, a number seven. You see that? I didn't put any in the bottom left. And then I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to lay some blue out right here in the middle. And then I'm going to take my dark purple. And if you have a lighter purple, that works fine too. And I'm going to put my purple on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rag inside. So I've got my, my finger kind of wrapped up in my rag and I am just going to do some circles and I'm gonna pull these colors out. So if you notice, I started down here with my dark and I'm pulling up towards my white and then I'm gonna come back to my dark and then up towards my white and then back to my dark. So we are gonna get these nice and mixed, but we're gonna have a really unique, interesting texture with them. You can really mix these as much or as little as you want until your little heart's desire, but you're gonna make your background like this. Let this dry and then choose which fruit you're going to make. So with my background totally dry, we are gonna talk about painting a pomegranate. So my pomegranate, I'm gonna start with white paint on my medium round brush and I am going to make just a big half bubble right here. Go ahead and fill this whole space in white. Now the top of my pomegranate, I'm gonna make a triangle that kind of comes out like this. So it's a curved triangle, almost goes up to the top of the paper. And I'm gonna make another one that you can kind of see going off like the canvas. And I'm gonna add one more back here that's a little bit smaller. So this is the, the top of my pomegranate. All right, let's let this dry and we come back and we're gonna add on our funky colors. Let's finish out this funky pomegranate. So I am going to fill this entire thing in with a mix of red and purple and a little bit of white because I don't want it to be too dark. So red, purple, and white, and then we'll go in with our funky colors.
Now, as far as the space up here, um, I am going to add a little bit more extra red to it instead of not, not as much purple. I'm gonna add red to this front area and then I'll add purple to that little back triangle. Now let's talk about the fun funky part. So I'm gonna go in with some white paint and I'm really not gonna add many colors other than white to this. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow at the end, but I'm just gonna pull these colors through making sure that my whitest white is up here at the top. And as I go down, I'm not gonna use as much white, but I'm gonna still keep with that same texture of my pomegranate, those same little lines that I've done in all this other series. So now I'm using a little bit of purple and kind of pulling that purple up into that red of the pomegranate. And I'm also going to be pulling some purple down along these edges of this as well, just to kind of give it a little bit of texture. I'm going to wash my brush off really well because pomegranates also have this light yellow area to them. And so I'm gonna add just a little bit of yellow on this piece of food. So up here, I'm just gonna pull some in. Now, purple and yellow don't always get along. Sometimes those two colors will fight together because they're complementary. They sit opposite each other on the color wheel. And so you do wanna be a little bit safe not to overmix. If you overmix, you're gonna get brown. I'm just going to add a couple areas of yellow in here. Wiping my brush off often so I don't get too much brown mixing. Even a little bit up here at the top. And then I'm gonna go in with some watered down black paint and my small round brush because all of these funky foods that I've been making add a small little messy black line around. And what I mean by a messy black line is I don't want that black line to follow that image exactly. I want it to kind of float a little bit on the outside and maybe some of it right on the edge. Now, when you finish your pomegranate, you have to make sure that you sign your name in a color that's gonna show up. And remember, the only way I get to see what you're making is if you post it on our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting With A Purpose, so you can be kept up to date on all of our latest videos. Thanks so much for joining me today, and as always, remember, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye.